Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We're going to a quest location. You remember when it was March and yet it was still super hot outside? Like, how am I sitting in my room and sweating? You arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. But the only thing nearby is a rebel ship, closing in fast. We found you! You're not getting away this time! Attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The Rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals. Without war? Surrender, your ultimate destruction is inevitable. We've left scores of rebels destroyed in our wake. Your rebellion is causing millions of death. Your beliefs are dividing the galaxy. Unity is our only option. Is the only option. Maybe this will make the other people join with us. Humans are treated as equal to aliens in the weak Federation. The sacrifice of billions of aliens or humans, or human lives, are justified if it means we reach our full potential. They charge. Okay, if that's how you want to play it. I can shoot lots of lasers and stuff at you too. We have double shields. I love double shields. Get him! Did we hit anything? I, I looked to the left. Was progress made? Get it! Fire the heavy lasers! This is our last... Okay, make it count. They are really buff. And with that drone... Number one drone rights. Using drones consumes part of the whatever. How do we actually deploy the drones? I don't think I'd ever actually said that since there weren't drones in this tutorial. This isn't looking good. We're out of rockets. So attacking their weapons seems to be the only real course of action. Oh my god, this thing's so strong! Heavy lasers on the shields again. You guys need to put out the fire. Like, the fire needs to be dealt with. You can't fit in that room, so try and go into this room because, oh, the fire's spreading. Alright, you guys, you guys come out this way. Let's just get out of there. We're going to... No, you go over there. We're going to open this. We're going to open this. We're going to open this. We're just going to get all the fire out. Wait, I could just open it back there. Damn it all. My management, it's not fast enough. I should probably be pausing this, making the moves, and then unpausing it. Our weapons are destroyed now. The airlock, I don't think we can go back out there until this door is closed. Our oxygen is out, too. Alright, we're basically just waiting for the... that. Yeah, I was like, we, we just, we got completely stuck there, and I didn't know there was an exit on the back of the ship. Hanger. Alright, does this get us anything? This is the ship on the list. Your summary of all your achievements. Progress unlocking playable ships. For veteran players of FTL, you'll see there are some changes from the original style. To unlock a new ship, you have two options. Find and complete a unique quest within the game world. These will often start in the homeworld sectors. Alternatively, beat the game with the previous ship in the list to unlock the next. Over over any ship to get more details. Okay, so there's just like a logical progression to this. We just have the crappy, like, worst ship. And we'll work our way up this. That's kind of cool. Type B, Type C. No Type C. Okay. And then Type C is better versions of these, I guess. But we don't have... Standard reward, enemies, your score gets a 25% boost, 50% boost. Okay, it seems like we're just starting pretty standard. You could just customize the crew. Alright, so there's nothing else we can really... Defeat the flagship with any layout of the Crystal Cruiser. Um... Okay. Alright, I, th I think we could get on this again. I'm carrying vital information. You gotta do stuff. So with this, we're going to jump... ...to an unvisited location. But let's go around. So let's go to that one. We're gonna skip the nebula stuff. I like being able to see. 
There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. We can sell five missiles for 15 scrap. Thank you. This will help greatly. 15 scrap. I'm sure we'll need those missiles. But at the same time... Power! So with this, we'll jump again to an even more unvisited location, if that's even possible. Small rebel nearby seems to have been refitted. Whatever, we'll attack them this time. I want to see what happens. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. Looks like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. They're charging their stuff up. Alright, so let's take our stuff off of there, put it all onto this. Shoot their engines. And their shields. Probably not in that order. They just knocked out our oxygen. Hopefully we don't need too much of that stuff. Take out the shields again. Enemy FTL delayed. That's what it is. If they're trying to get away, why the hell wouldn't I attack their engines? I remember the last time and I was just... I'll get better. Hey, that heavy laser bag. You search for the ship and discover that its cargo was new military-grade weaponry. It was somehow undamaged in the fight. Definitely somehow. I'm not sure how their entire ship could explode like that and everybody be like, nah, I was totally gay. But it doesn't matter and we're not questioning it for reasons of heavy lasers. More power. So now we can power up the engine and the medbay. And the oxygen. We could fully power everything. We have more power than we can use. That's awesome. Store. Why did I go to the store with zero? Okay. Hey, you want to buy something? No, not really. Can you jump back to places you have already been in? Okay. The rebels are about to gain control of this beacon. Distress. Distress beacon. Okay, I was like, is it at this one or is it this one? It's like between them. We'll check this out, see if we can help somebody. Just be all around good people. Tiny asteroid belt, you find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail to offer them assistance. They respond, help, our shields are down and we won't last long. Try to shield their ship with yours, don't risk our ship, leave them to their fate. They'll probably have nice things they can help us with. You succeeded, or you succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed. But your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of their scrap and fuel they were mining out of the asteroid field as thanks. One damage to your hull. That was one damage. Holy crap. I didn't realize it was that intense. Five fuel is five jumps, though. And 19 of those for one damage? I'd say that's pretty good, honestly. Whoa, you're gonna burn to death, dude. You need to not do that. Put the fires out. So the exits are right here, right here, and right here. There isn't one in the front. I get... What kind of... Okay, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that there isn't a way to eject the pilots because the windshield just pops out. We're totally not going to implement that because that would be suck. And everybody's doctors, so they can just heal themselves up. Medical. You got sensors down. We got this. Go into the weapons room just in case because when you're in there... 10% faster charge. So now we have 19, which isn't enough for really anything. Unvisited location, unvisited location. We hit this one, then we hit that one, then... We can mess around on the edge over there before we jump to the next area. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for a fight. Preparing burst lasers. Fire everything at that. This is our last missile, so we have to try and make sure we get this. Our shields, unfortunately, suck. And our last missile suck, like, completely missed, too. First lasers. Shields. Okay, so that's just a recharge. These drones are so overpowered. Warning hull, 75%. How do they even? First lasers, we knocked out three of their things already, though. This should interrupt their drones. 
Oh, or, you know, just kill them. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful stuff. Continue. Oh dear. You got- no. The med room's not important right now. Fix the oxygen. And you help fix this. I could. Why would we stop in an asteroid field? It's like, you see the enemy. They're hiding behind asteroids. It's like, we, we need to go around this. Jim, you are not doing okay. I'm not happy with this. Get out of here. Yeah, we're actually getting hit by stuff by sticking around here. I'm really happy he didn't die. And you didn't die either. Sweet. His health isn't moving. I think it's because... Oh my... Sorry, there's no oxygen here in here. So everything's working out perfectly. It actually consumes the oxygen faster because it's burning. That's pretty cool. Alright, so the oxygen's fixed. The engine is going to be fixed. We're gonna get out of here. We can't we can't sit in this area. Fast and light drive, it's not ready. You need to help. We'll open this and open this. All of the oxygen will be sucked out. The fires will die. I said the fires will die, why are you spreading more? Fantastic. Oh, the thing that lets me control the doors is broken. Are you for real? We need to jump out of here. I've made mistakes. Transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies for travelers. You check it out. Fix all 52, I wish. We're gonna dump everything into not dying. I know that was probably a huge waste, but we're like one laser blast from gone. So now that we actually have time, you can fix that. And then you hopefully- No, why would you do that? Go in this way. Go in this way. Are you gonna try and get sucked out into space? You see that? He was totally just like, take me space. I, I don't even. Now, there's a difference between wanting to be an astronaut and just wanting to die. Go into that room. Alright, you come back to the cockpit. Now I can actually close these doors and we can actually get oxygen in here. He's getting healed up, everybody's good to go, we can jump. Going to the exit. You arrive to the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A ship with the conspicuous pirates marketings, they have stuff for sale. I don't have any money. So let's get them! Shields down! And whenever this is done charging, of course. Adding power would be pointless. Sweet! Actually, just take that off. Put that on. Shoot with this thing, it's bigger. And now we can use all of our, well, most of our power. There's still a little bit left that we can't use. But I would rather have that problem than not having enough power. Two damage, sweet. Do it again. The worse their shields are, like, this drone can't stop us forever, and this thing doesn't seem to really even have weapons on it other than the tiny little laser. Sweet. You kill a fran- you, or you get a- you get a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. Accept their offer. And get this, how much more do I get if I kill them? They're pirates. Four missiles. We can get this and more if we kill them. Let's take their engines out. Am I a bad person? They're pirates. They totally have this coming. I need resources. I dare you stop me from closing doors. Gone. And if we get more than four missiles... Okay, so we got less missiles, but we got more scrap, and we got some fuel. Substantial. Okay, so it makes sense that they would lose things in the explosion, and that we would get more scrap out of it, because even the missiles and stuff would be useless. Because they blew up. So much science behind this game. We have so much fuel. You can make a crazy amount of drums. Number of drone parts. Using a drone consumes one drone part. Doors. Sensors. Pilot. I don't see anything for drones. Return to crew to save positions. Save your current crew position. Okay, so that'd be cool. Alright, with the crew as they are now, everybody is mostly healed up. 
You go back in there, he'll take care of himself, and should be ready by the next combat. So we can go to the next sector before we die, and let's check out our nebula, since we haven't already. The gases that make up the nebulas in this sector threaten to impair your systems, but you have to press on. So does that mean just we have like a permanent interference with our shields? Or not shields, our sensors. Yeah, that's a lot of nebulas. An unvisited location, the rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in this sector, so it won't be as effective as a hiding spot. I see. It seems like all of the spots aren't as effective. But if we're gonna do that, then we should go to the one that's outside of the range at least. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. A heavily damaged Federation ship. We're the Federation, right? Attempt to follow and help them. Your search is hopeless. Your sensors can't pick up anything. Okay. That seems kind of stupid on their part. I don't know why you do that if you wanted help. One fuel used. Your crew are constantly looking out the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship. The tension is almost palpable. So everybody's freaking out, which makes sense, honestly. These big clouds... I don't think that's how nebulas work, but... Without active sensors, you have no other option but to look out of the viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet. Are we gonna fight it like some big-ass dragon or something? Space dragons. Everything this game needed. A rock-armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings. But when you hail, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. I know that the, the, the obvious proper response is to kill them for insulting us, but I don't think I want to kill them just because they said they don't like us. So we're just going to get out of here. Why can I not get out of here? And why is our oxygen depleting? Oh, our power. We're in a nebula, so our stuff's all messed up. That makes sense. Okay, I need to watch this oxygen. I saw a number was going down. Store. We might be able to repair our ship a bit. Though it seems to be what most of our stuff's going into. Yeah, that's basically... We're back in the green. I think that's as good as we're going to end up doing. And on to the next area. The long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. So, let's go to the next sector. And we're going to check out a pirate world. Or Mantis, whatever. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch, and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Yeah, I know the Mantis Village has caused me some problems in the past. The Mantis Lords weren't too great either. But, it felt good actually dodging them. So hopefully we can dodge them here too. But we're going to drop it here, and pick it up next time. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.